welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be using these super fun and super cute wrap dies. They are available in many different designs. And um, I think I have all of them with uh, the two auto ship ones that I will show you. And uh, I've prepared all of them as a sample in a design and we will be creating one with you guys just to show you a lot of possibilities how you can use them how you can create them or how you can embellish them and we'll be using our gemini mini with it so let's not waste any more time and begin okay let's begin we're gonna do this snowman one the little family and uh, I'm gonna open this one but I already did open all of these and there are 18 of them that's out there that you can purchase and there is two that came as an auto ship that's the shoes and the bag or handbag and so it makes uh, 20 right now for me but 18 out in retail or at the website or and uh, let me open this one. That's how I open it. Okay. Okay. Let's take these things off. Okay, so we got two different ones. Uh, one of them is a little bit longer, but mostly almost the same. Now we need some paper. Okay, I'm gonna do it with brown. And uh, I need to have enough. So, yeah. Make sure it fits in the folder. You don't have to have them in one thing. You can do it in pieces or you can have it, you know, um, like this. Um, that way you have, this way you have to make sure they're on the same, you know, kind of level. Um, you can do it this way or um, you can do it other ways, but let's do them separate just in case. So, um, okay. This is, let's take our mini. Okay, so as you can see, here is my folder after not even a lot of uses but don't worry it still will cut you can always flip it this way and you know cut it okay let me let me show you that it's still gonna cut this way and then we'll flip for another one and show you that it's gonna cut that way too so let's see okay Here it is, it's been cut. Okay. And let's now flip it, you know, kind of the wrong way, but it's not really a wrong way, so. Okay. Okay. 
and it did cut perfectly. Okay. These are the pieces that we've got that will interlock like this. Very nice. So um, let's start uh, decorating. You can cut it just out of any paper, black, white, blue, anything. And uh, you know, just leave it that way. Or you can use it as I'm going to show you in this one. You know, just cut out the pieces out of different cardstock. Or you can use your either markers, like the sparkly markers or your any other markers that you have, alcohol markers or, you know, literally any other markers or uh, pencils that you have, you can use it. So let's see, I think I want the little um, snowman in uh, white and I'm gonna take some white uh, glitter paper and you don't need much at all. Let's see. Um, let's put this. Hold on. I need my pokey tool to take things out. Okay. I think we have everything out. Okay. Let's cut the snowman. scissors and cut the snowman out and I will cut the hands off too because we have hands right here and I want them to be brown of course you can always color them brown or black or any other color okay Then we need this other one. Okay, let's do the same with the Family snowman. Let me take those a little cut out. Okay. Let's see. Now we'll have to cut those little things out too. Okay, so we've got this far. Okay, you can cut them out of um, normal, you know, white cardstock, and uh, doesn't have to be, you know, the glitter cardstock. But I kind of like it. Let me show you. Um, 
and uh, I don't know if camera will catch it, all the indentations of the scarf and the hat is right, is there and visible. So next, you can either color them in or cut the things out like, like this. I just cut this hat out out of the black, you know, glitter cardstock, and uh, um, and I just cut it out. So it would go like this but if you worry about it being too heavy you can color them in you can use any of your sparkle pens if you want or any of your other markers um, but you have to kind of see uh, how it's gonna work on different paper it's like especially with with the glitter you know sparkly papers so here's my um, normal cardstock and uh, glitter cardstock that we just, you know, cut it out. And if we take, let's say, pink color, on the pink on the normal cardstock, it's pink, but on the on the glitter, it's um, come on, it's more of a burgundy color. So. I wouldn't use my sparkly pants on the glitter cardstock anyways, but just to show you the difference. Um, but if you don't want to cut every piece out, we already have the hands in here, that's fun. We have a hat, uh, that's fun, cut it out. But let's say if you don't want to cut out all the scarves, it's going to be quite a lot to cut out or the hat. You can color them in with any markers that you have or you know um, alcohol markers or normal markers or um, anything you have so this is my spectrum noir i have the whole case um, markers and this is the pink color and uh, you can just um, you can glue them in and then you know kind of draw or you can just uh, color them in this way and then to glue it in your preference so these I just go over the indentations right here for the hat and you can do any color you want and then there is um A scarf right here and you can do exactly the same with the little guy and with the big guy let's say it's a family dad mom and the kid so I already pre-colored them right here so um and I put a little nose in there. There is an indentation of the nose, of the scarves, everything in there. I mean, you just have to see it. Um, I mean, you can see it a lot better uh, with a normal cardstock, but let's see if we can just, you know, get a piece of normal cardstock and I can, you know, show you. Let me see if you can see it. I hope it's visible. If not, I'll just uh, uh, take a picture of it later to show. And then, so we did, uh, I already colored those, so, um, Let's move those out and then, um, so it would be like this. I cut a little bit more over here just to, you know, so you can see the arm and I know you, you can separate them a little bit better. And here's the dead in my dies, I guess. 
we can put, you can either color it with black, the hat, or you can cut it out like I did. Let me show you on this guy. Okay. So either this way or this way. Um, this one's a little darker. Let me see if I can. I like the darker look. Let me see if I can go over it. If it becomes more darker or not. A little bit. But you know, um, you can choose whatever you like better. If you like everything just colored in, good. If you want to mix and match, that's good too. So let's see. We can put these things on here. And if you like it, you could already glue it in and see you know what else you want to add or you know you can put everything together and then glue everything together so let's see um i already um but hold on before i do the trees i did these little ones with the normal cardstock you can cut them with the normal cardstock and sort of either cut stuff out or you know the color them in and let's see if i can catch the light for you i used my clear uh sparkly pen and i made them um sparkly too just use any markers that you have or pencils or you know whatever you like to color with and then when it's dry use your you know sparkly pen and just go over it i just went over everything to make it sparkly although i used um this sparkle pen on pink as we looked at it right here and uh, this blue sparkle pen on both of their scarves and i just went over with a uh, clear one and made them sparkly you can win over anything with the clear sparkly pen and it just makes it really nice so um this would be the look of normal cardstock or glitter cardstock whichever you prefer and then let's do the trees let me show you the little trees we can do of course you can cut this out of um white cardstock not brown and then color in just you know a little bit of um the hands sticks uh in brown if you want this part to be um different color you can make it white silver gold whatever your theme is but um so let me do some trees over here real quick Okay, we've got the trees. Right. Let's take things out. Okay, so all you need to do is um, just cut a little bit here and there. And uh, that's it. You can cut out these little trees and it doesn't take a long time to do it. Okay, here are my two little trees and I've got two more to put it in here. You can cut them out with normal cardstock like this and uh, I just colored them in with my sparkly pen. This is the color and it called uh, pistachio. I don't know if you can see it, it's sparkly, but um, I really like this much sparkly, especially when it comes to um, Christmas. Okay, so you would put them in here and your tree stems already in there. 
if you want a fussy cut a little bit more you can cut out more over here let's see how actually it's coming together maybe we can and create that green but um actually you don't really see it so no need to cut them out so yeah okay okay so we can do this well this is how this will look still looks really good and nice but of course i like this look better i'm all about nice and pretty and glittery and fancy for christmas so let's glue them together real quick Okay, so they're together and let's put them in or close them in. Okay, so this is how they look put together and then we can grab a card. Just any card, I'm just grabbing a random card out of a random pack. And uh, let's see, I'm not gonna, you know, do a lot, but um, you can just, you know, you can eyeball it or, you know, and see where you want it. Or you can precisely measure it. Okay, so in here, you can cut them longer as I'm gonna show you in just a minute right here. I have it um, kind of prepared. Or you can just uh, cut a strip. Nope. Let me grab my sort of a strip. Let me try if I can guess the size of it. did almost perfect almost let me see okay you can either you know measure it and pre-cut it and just glue it together it still will work because it's opening up front so um I am using the art glitter glue. Let me grab it. I'm using this kind of glue. I just have these little containers with the pointy, you know, kind of tiny opening that I really like. And uh, I really like this glue. It doesn't make, you know, it doesn't make my cardstock, you know, all wrinkly and it holds really good and it's already, you know, really secure and stuff. So I like it. So here it is. And then you would open it up. You can glue this part all the way to the card or you don't have to. And that's it. That would be, you know, you would open it. You see the card and stuff and uh, you can just close it. Pretty nice and easy. It doesn't take a long time to um, 
to create them. So here it is. I like how, how they turn out. Um, they're really fun to make. And uh, let me show you uh, something. Some of them that I did. So here are the some of them that I did. And uh, uh, just a quick view because I wanna show the other way. You can cut them. You can open all of them up. I did glue them so they don't fall, but you can open all of them and uh, they're really nice. And I'll show you the rest of them in just a minute. Okay, so if you, okay, let me close this. So if you want uh, to wrap around without this, uh, you know, pieces that you can see you glued them in and stuff, um, you can just measure how long, you know, your card like this, or how long is your card all around it and then um, just put it through the machine the way you know I will just show you in just a second but I'm actually gonna, gonna um, put this around something else this would be too big for the card but if you have a simple um, box I made simple simple box out of of course nice um, Card stuck, but um, it's a nice box and you can put another bow on it but what about if you would wrap the bow this bow um, around it and kind of sort of close the box with it and uh, um, I think it's gonna be fun but let's see okay so you, what would you do you would measure my box is uh, three inches it's three by three so you would measure this part three inches this part three inches and this part three inches and how much it needs to be um, you know kind of sort of fold in um, I hope I measured it right because I I could be wrong uh, I don't know <laughs> but if not I mean, at least you get the idea. So, you would put one part in here. Just go through the machine and back out. Okay. And then put the other end in here and go through the machine again Okay. This is our bow. And then we just need to um, like cut this straight. Um, you can grab a ruler or something, but I'm gonna eyeball it. Okay. Okay, so now it's together and hopefully it's enough to go around the box. Let's see if I can just sort of 
place it in the middle. Um, probably it's not going to be. Nope. I think I measured it wrong, but um, you'll get the idea. Let me just cut it in the middle and put it together. So you'll get the idea like this. But uh, let me grab a different cardstock um, so you know, make it nicer over here. Okay. Okay, I got some gold cardstock and you don't need a lot at all just enough you know for the bow so like these little pieces would be just enough and let's go real quick through Okay, so now uh, I'm gonna cut straight up where the, you know, the little opening is. And this one too. We'll just glue it together real fast. Just um, putting it together and then you can even raise them a little bit so it kind of has the 3D effect and that's it. You would have it like this on the box and then the recipient can just, you know, open it and uh, um, open the box and this way kind of secures the lid too so you don't have to glue it together so this is an, one of the ways that you can use it um, not just on the cards but on the um, on the boxes this is on the card um, let me move a few things out and I will show you the rest of the stuff that I made. Okay, so here is another card that I've made and uh, this one opens up and it can be moved out. And these, I just um, cut them, you know, just these parts and that's it. And you have a little cute embellishment. I did the layering, I cut a little bit more then in my previous card, you know, so you can sh see more of uh, layers. And that's it. Um, I really like these. And uh, they're really fun to work with. And it doesn't take a lot of time to do it. So this is one card. This is another. Of course, you, you will do something fun in here. But, you know. And 
let's get all those oops let's get all those the uh, examples that I created to show you out of all of these that's available as I mentioned there's 18 out there to purchase and two of them that was on auto ship Alrighty, so these are the sleigh ones. Here I just did uh, a pattern cardstock and some glitter cardstock on top with nothing. But you know you can color on glitter as we did here. So it, you know you can color the presents like I you know colored it in here. This is foiled. And this is foil that just, you know, cut out like we did little trees in here. Um, I cut out the little buildings. I could do more, but you know, just, you know, just to show you. Okay, so next, next are my butterflies. And you can do them any way you want. And there's another butterfly in here with, um, with glitter right here let's see if i can put it this way so i did this one with glitter this is two just plain same color this one has lighter and darker pink and these ones you know just white with um with whatever you want color so you can make them a lot of them let's say in white and then if the occasion presents itself and you need either, you know, let's say yellow, you can just make a few yellow ones, you know, put it on top and here you go. So these are my butterflies. Okay, so now this is the cupcake, how it looks. Of course, glitter or something would be really nice. This is the star. These are the little uh, deers. So I cut everything out again in white and just snip those around from brown. And you can definitely see those are little deers. Then next one, this is the tree. And um, I just took a little star from behind and put it on top. And I like it with gold, really like it with gold. These are the shoes, this is from the auto ship. And uh, I really like the shoes. And um, I have some more shoes over there that I will show you. Um, so here's some more shoes and I have some more shoes um, with just gray and different pattern cardstock and they look so nice. This is my butterfly. This is the purse. I don't know if it really looks good, but there's little indentations for it. Um, then here are the bells. You can do bells in any color and it will work great. This is the heart that I've used on the card. I really like it. And I used the heart on something else. So give me just a second after we go through all of those, I'll show you. It's very fun. And this is a rough. Okay. There's some more. Um, this is a little ornament this is a snowflake i did half uh, with silver half just normal just to see or just show you how it looks like this so it really looks good by itself these are the little bells these are the swans i left them plain white but i did use a sparkly pen on it and you i hope you can we can catch the light um, with it because I really like them white um, but you can color them these are the shoes again and I used this sparkle pen on them and uh, hopefully you can see the shimmer on it too these are um, the candles and I used my alcohol markers on them and then I went over with my clear glittery pen and now you know it's um you know glittery if you don't have you know 
sparkly pens because they can add up in price. You can use any of your uh, markers and uh, um, and uh, use the you know this clear one overlay, and uh, you will get this really nice effect. Let me actually show you that real quick. There's some cardstock, and um, let me take this um, marker and I will go over it with a sparkly pen. Make sure it's coming out. Okay, and then let me take just a sparkly pen and uh, do this other color. So you could see, come on, come out. This one doesn't work. Oh, right there. Finally started to work. Okay. While it dries, let's talk about some more and the other heart part that I said. So these are the bow that we just did over here. And when you do it with different colors, it has a lot different look to it. This is the cross that is available. And this is the... Um, flower of course I did not put on these um, this um, these snowmans so these snowmans would be you know the last kind of example okay so the other thing that I did with that heart one is this I created a napkin ring I I cut it out of white cardstock. Then I put a layer of just, you know, black piece on the bottom. And then I got my napkin folded how I want it. And then, um, you know, right now it's kind of together, but I fold it, you know, hold it how I want it, glued it together in here. And guess what? It still opens up, you know, like it should be and you know you can just close it on any napkin it can be you know just straight up napkin could be um one time use napkins anything and this way you have um a napkin ring that's inexpensive you made it yourself and for any occasion so you can do a napkin uh ring with any of these, let's say the little snowflake, flowers, even cross, bow, shoes. I mean, anything you need. And all of these are, you know, can make it the cupcakes, you know, the little butterflies. I mean, anything, like almost any occasion, you have the napkin ring. Okay, so let's see. This is the normal marker with clear glittery pen, and this is the glitter, you know, blue pen. And let's see if you can uh, see it. If not, I'll just do close up. But, um, I almost cannot tell a difference. Was it a sparkly pen or was it a marker with the one on top? So um, these are the ones that you can do uh, too. You know, you don't have to have lots of sparkly pens. Just one clear one will, you know, go over anything. Um, well, I think that's it. I hope you liked it. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. 
If you have any more questions, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. And if you did, please click the like button and don't forget to subscribe, share across the social media and your friends, and I will see you in the next video.